Tell me what you think of Trump. What do I think of Trump? Trump represents something that is very inherently American, very racist, very misogynistic. He is the core of our country as he represents the injustices that he promises to do against our marginalized populations, against women, against minorities, and, and, against, um, and against political dissent. And so, uh, go ahead. Oh, uh, no, no, that's it, that's it. And um, how'd you, why did you join the march? Well, um, initially my girlfriend and I were heading back to Howard University's campus, but we have a passion for social justice work, and we recognize the importance of creating a resistance movement against one of America's first dictators. And we, we're saying Trump is a fascist. Do you think that's true? Hell yeah. There's no other way to describe it. I don't know what else I would call him. He's fascist. He's authoritarian. And his, his regime is going to be one of the most harmful in recent American history. Not only to minorities and to women and to those marginalized groups of people, but also to, to the entire world at whole. The way that he's dismantling our foreign policy with 140 characters. That's unheard of. That's right. And so what's your message to other people who, are, who maybe are sick at heart, who hate Trump, who are scared? What's your message to them right now? I can't promise you it gets better if you sit down. I can't promise you it's going to get better even if you fight. But damned if you're damned if you do and damned if you don't, you might as well fight with us. Fight and so, us. what's your message to students in particular? You're reading about this. Live it. Um, it's, it's one thing to, to learn about American history. It's one thing to learn about political science. And it's another thing to act, actively engage in the changing process in history. Um, study the textbooks and, and get out here with us.